all right all right what's going on party people this your man grill ah just finished doing some house inspections and i think that is it for today i do have to call um if i don't find my other phone there it is yeah i do have to call to set up another um interior inspection and everything so i get that done a little bit later but um yeah i just want to chit chat with y'all for a second while i'm got this 20 minute drive not saying that i'm gonna be talking the whole 20 minutes but um the other day i was talking to a young lady and we was talking about you know doing what we needed you know what we have to do as business owners or as persons to move forward in our business and how do you you know get the right mindset because it's a transformation you know to go from a w-2 to a, a business owner mindset entrepreneur it is truly a, a, a transformation and as we was talking you know we was like you know we both was agreeing that it takes time that the the biggest issue is that people don't want to invest the time into the transformation and as she was saying that or either i was saying i forget who was saying what but i started thinking about the butterfly the butterfly takes some time the butterfly goes out you know when it's a, a caterpillar it's consuming and consuming and consuming and it's just eating 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 everything that it needs everything that it's supposed to have in order for it to get to a point of changing into a butterfly in other words it's going from that caterpillar let's say the caterpillar is the w2 mindset and the caterpillar in the um, butterfly the caterpillar is the w2 the butterfly is the actual entrepreneur and and it takes some time but in the w2 mindset and you say like okay i'm a w2 caterpillar but i don't feel like being a caterpillar anymore i i, I think i can change into something better you know the caterpillar is limited the caterpillar you know is is stuck on just those trees it, it takes a little while to go from one spot to the next so the caterpillar is actually limited in what it can do and where it can go. Um, so now the question is, how does it get there? So there's something inside that caterpillar that says, I need to change. I need to change. And there's something else that's inside of that caterpillar saying, OK, well, in order to change, you have to consume something. You have to consume certain things in order to get you to change to get you in the mode and in and in, 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 um down the road of changing into the mindset of changing you got to consume so the caterpillar just knows that i got to eat this stuff i got to eat this this particular leaf that particular grass whatever the case may be and through the process that caterpillar is very very exposed there's predators out there that are, are ready and willing to do whatever they can to interfere with that caterpillar eating the food that it needs in order for it to change and transform into the butterfly so as i was thinking about that yeah all of this was going on in my head at, 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 in that one time as i was thinking about that and plus i'm a nature person and so i love looking at nature shows and stuff i said well, during the phase of consuming, during the phase of just checking, okay, I just got this big old glare, so I can't really see myself. During the phase of consuming, the caterpillar is very exposed because it's getting information from, you know, it's getting food and it might consume the wrong thing and it might hurt it, it might kill it. And then you have predators out there and that's the big, uh, biggest obstacle. So what is the defense that the predator has? The predator, I mean, that the caterpillar has. The, pre the caterpillar 
a lot of times has these bright, vibrant colors. And you would say, well, wow, these bright, vibrant colors, wouldn't that attract um, more predators? But a lot of caterpillars have poison in them. They have, and they and they communicate that with these bright colors. They communicate that, hey, you come mess with me, you're going to get hurt. You're going to get, you're going to die. And then even some of them have these little things, these little fuzzy, hairy things that stick out that not necessarily always poisonous, but it has toxins, you know, poison from the standpoint of killing. It just has irritants in it and all of that. And I said, so the caterpillar, even though it's exposed, it has a way to protect itself. It has mechanisms to keep the predators, to keep the naysayers away from it so that it can continue to consume what it needs for its transformation. Come on, somebody. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Y'all know where I'm going with this. So the caterpillar has developed a defense to protect itself or to at least get to at least try to deter the predator or predators from coming and messing with it so that it can do what? Continue to consume, continue to learn, continue to grow. The caterpillar doesn't hang around places where, now the predators find it, that's one thing, but the caterpillar is not purposefully hanging around other critters that would interfere with it doing its thing of consuming the products that it needs so that it can grow and it can change and transform. Because once it gets to a certain point, it says enough eating is now time to transform and change and execute what I've consumed, allow what I've consumed to transform me into the butterfly that I need to be, which means now I can expand and go even more places and dine on uh, even more knowledge of food than what I have here. Because the caterpillar is limited in what it can eat based on how fast it can move, how quick it can get away from predators, and what's really just around it. You see what I'm saying? But once it becomes a butterfly, then it can link up with other butterflies, like the monarch butterfly. The monarch butterfly hook up with other butterflies, and then they get and they can eat from this um, plant and that plant and get much better food, much better knowledge. And one of the things that you have to figure out how to do is to protect yourself while you're consuming this knowledge, while you're consuming and learning what you need to know as a caterpillar or a W-2 moving into entrepreneurship. You gotta find a way to protect you. And to me, to me, one of the ways is to communicate to the people around you ah, that a change is coming. That I am no longer rolling in the same mindset as you. I may be at this job with you. And of course, yes, people will say, well, you gotta be careful who you share stuff to. Correct. But at some point in time, you gotta let people know when they do come to you, when that predator does come to try to discourage you, you gotta let them know that, look, okay, you come over here, you're gonna get, you're gonna get some poison. And the poison is, my mindset has changed. Cause see, your mindset is poison to other W-2s, to people who don't wanna be an entrepreneur, to people who just wanna sit there at that job, your mindset is poison. So when they hear you talk confidently, boldly, about being an entrepreneur, even though you don't have it manifested, but you are believing that it will be because you see it with your faith eyes. You see it with the eyes of your heart that I know this is possible. And when you share that with them and you constantly tell them that, they're gonna be like, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna leave you alone because they're always there to try to deter you. They're always there to try to, to break you. And when you show them that you're unbreakable, when you show them that you are not moved from what you know your purpose is, because you have that same attitude sometimes when it comes to your W-2, moving up the ladder, trying to become that corporate guru, okay? You have that same attitude that you're not letting anybody stop you 
from getting your master's degree. You're not letting anybody stop you from getting your doctorate degree. You're not any stopping, letting anybody stop you from having a successful marriage and raising successful children. You're not. So you have that same tenacity. And when they come to you, no, my man is good. No, my woman is good. My kids are fine. They're going to be fine. They're getting better. They're going to do better. You have that tenacity. So every time they speak something negative, how are you going, when are you going to finish school? I'm going to finish school. Don't worry about it. I got this. You let them know that you need to have the same tenacity, the same mindset that will poison them, that is poison to these people. Because the, those who don't want to do anything with themselves, they try to do everything they can to get you not to do anything with yourself. They need you not to do anything with yourself so they can feel justified in not doing anything with themselves. And if they can stop you from doing what you need to do, then that gives them justification for not doing what they need to do. And I tell people all the time, don't use me to justify why you don't want to do what you need to do for yourself. Just, just admit it and just own it. And they don't want to own it. They want to, they want to blame it on you. Well, well, if Shaquanda would do it, well, if Shireen would do it, well, man, if Kylie or Kareem, he would do it, then, 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 you know, then I would, but you know, you ain't doing nothing, so I ain't doing nothing. So they stop you from doing something, but then blame you for not doing something. That is a, the craziest thing in the world. You know, cops all out here today. So I just wanted to encourage you today. I just wanted to encourage you. <laughs> do what you got to do to consume the information that you need so that you can transform into the butterfly, the entrepreneur that you need to transform into, okay? At this stage, some of you are a caterpillar. Don't be afraid to communicate to those when they come to you. I'm not saying go out and go find your, your naysayer, the cousin, and be like, yo, yo, Tim, I'm telling you now, I'm gonna be the, no. Just if they, when they come, you give them truth and facts, and you show them, I'm unbreakable, I'm unmovable, from what I'm planning to do, what I've already know that I've been commissioned to do. You do that today. You do that from here on out. And before you know it, you will be operating as that entrepreneur that you desire to be, that you are destined to be. That's all I got for you today, y'all. Peace.